In this video, it's all about the art of Mangor. Uh, if you look at the Hijazi architecture that uh, sits within the Balad, each house is contained of certain elements that makes it unique and traditional to our region. Right now, we'll be looking at the windows of, of the houses. And the windows, we call them here a Roshan. And there's many different types of Roshan that exist in the Balad. Within the Roshan, we have a Mangor piece, which is, consists of wooden uh, lattice work. The beauty of this wooden lattice work, they interlock to one another without using nails or glue, called in Arabic, Ashiq wa which is, uh, if you translate in English, love and beloved. So it's actually a lap joint that hold one another, that is used on the windows to allow natural uh, light to come inside the houses, or also natural wind. This is the Roshan, and within the Roshan, there's many elements of it. Each unit have a specific proportions that is relating to the thickness of the wood. And we're gonna be looking at its proportion, analyzing the geometry in it, and learning how to construct it by itself. So for example, the octagon, we use it using the same proportion here. Same thing with the four-pointed star and the Solomon seal. And these are different units what makes them good. So this is our first step. Second, we'll be connecting the intersection point between the two overlapping square to another. Now we have the basic grid to start doing the grid from the center using the diagonal lines. Um, this is just to give you an idea of how the grid would work and what circle we choose. So we choose the circles that is uh, next to one another and they're all set on a 45 degree angle. So each one of those circles, we're gonna develop a unit. It's good sometimes just to have a sketch of what you want to do. This is to give an idea of the drawing that you end up having within this uh, circles, octagon and the squares next to one another. So at least you give an idea. Then later on, when you go more in depth and drawing it, you will know where exactly to place them. This is our unit. So this is good to help us to, to mark whatever we need to cut. For this, we're gonna mark here. So let's say right now we wanna cut this piece here. You always start with the flat surface and the cut, you want to have it clean. And you have it this side out, and you're going to start doing the other way around. So you have two sides. If you look at the drawing here, it depends. Sometimes you do an exterior cut, sometimes you do an interior one. The interior one, it will give you the octagon. The cut over here, it shows just a sample how it looks when you have to do most of the cuts, whether it was an inner or outer. And then of course later on, they will fit within the grid. It'll give us an octagon shape. Lots of different variations of it you can do with the different units. So each, each one is a different, unique opening from one to another.